Hey, this is Joe Blasco, and we are very fortunate today to be in the Valley with Barney Berman at the Proteus FX Studios. Barney, thank you so much for having us here today. It's my great pleasure, to see Joe. you. It's been a long time. It has. Thank yes, you for coming has. out. Yeah. You know, yeah, you just I, I taught think... over at the school, and I have to thank you publicly oh. for doing such a really great job. Thank you. My I, pleasure. Yeah, it was, I appreciate it. I'd like really... to have you back there sometime soon. That would be a, quite an enjoyment. Yeah, great. Listen, enjoyment. What the, uh, I love your lab. We're going to be giving a tour of the lab, which is going to be a real treat for you. You know, we have, we have people uh, this, uh, watching from all over the world. This isn't just a Hi, all over the world. All over the world. So we, we've got a, a really great, great uh, following. And uh, this is kind of my way of um, uh, opening up the entire Hollywood community mm -hmm. to the world. Mm -hmm. And uh, so they can see who we are, what we're all about, what we're working on, how we think, you know. Yeah. Um, so uh, what are you working on? What's going on? Uh, well, right now, um, Hollywood's in a bit of a drought. And yeah. so they've been, um, there have been some contractual disputes, as you yes, know, I'm yeah. sure, with the actors and the, the producers. So things are right. a little dry. I've had enough stuff to keep me going yeah. here and there, uh, knock wood. Yeah. Um, but uh, I don't have a major crew happening right now. Mm -hmm. I've got, I think, five or six projects that I'm attached to and yes. soon, that, that people are just waiting, waiting to for green light. to through, right, right, right. But they're hes hesitating until um, contracts. So we've got a couple things going. Um, some of them um, are designs. Um, for the, some of these projects, yes. um, and then there's one project that we're doing downstairs, which is a very elaborate makeup of silicone prosthetics yeah. with uh, hand-punched hair yes. yeah, into was, every one of the pieces. Yeah, I, I didn't get a close look, but it looked really terrific. Yeah, it, you have a, a, what appears to be a very large facility, so we're going to be very we're very lucky to be able to be here and to see uh, uh, Barney's facility because it is one of the, you know, the uh, best known facilities here. I mean, there are a lot of labs in town, obviously. But Barney's been around, you've been around a long time. Yeah, I've been uh, 23, yeah. 24 years in yeah. this business. Yeah, and, and grew up around it, of course. Right, so. right, now, now uh, your father is? Yeah, Tom, Tom, Tom Berman. Tom Berman, correct. and uh, how's he doing? He's doing good. We have to get him on camera. I think you should. He's got some amazing stuff, but they've been working on Nip Tuck and Grey's yeah. Anatomy and doing oh, some yeah. really beautiful medical stuff. Yeah, he's been very busy. Yeah. That's terrific. How did you how did you get into this business? I mean, obviously your father had great influence. What Yes. Tell us, tell us give us a little rundown on, on how one follows in one father's footsteps, especially when they're such big footsteps to well, fill. Well, I, I, I got to give him credit because he never pushed us into anything. He just, you know, whatever we wanted to do, right. whatever made us happy. And um, and uh, to be honest, I, I didn't have any interest in makeup. And I just did it really and worked in shops as a way of making money, right. paying bills. Right. I was pursuing an acting career for right. uh, about 15 years. Yes. And I got gigs here and there, and I had brief periods of time where I was a working actor, but they just were few and far between. Right. Meanwhile, makeup um, started to blossom. My dad sent me to uh, Houston to do the film Powder. Yes. And uh, did you you did that film? Yeah. Beautiful yeah. work. Thank you, thank you. Really? Myself and uh, and Steve Laporte yes. did the uh, Sean Patrick Flannery, the lead character of Powder. Yes. And uh, that put me in the union. And then I started to see what life was like as a union makeup artist right. and the sets so I can get on and the, the and people I can make you, up. You and, didn't run oh miles my God, I loved direction. it. I just I started to <laughs> just really kidding. open up. <laughs> <laughs> it's it can be intimidating at first, absolutely. Yeah, but right. um, uh, I, I ended up working with you know on, on the Grinch yes. and uh, Planet of the Apes. I did yes. six films under Rick Baker. Yes, um, all the films I worked on for my dad, and uh, I had other people like Steve Laporte who were giving me a lot of opportunities in sculpting and painting and, yes. and expanding my artistic side. Yes. and uh, it just kind of blossomed. And yes. then, well, about, when did you like best? Sorry. Uh, uh, and, and you, you in, in in your lab work, right? What what do you like? Do you like mold making best? Do you like sculpting best? Do you, what what uh, application? Yeah. Formulating, foaming. What 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 really turns you on? Um, I I've, I love sculpting. I love to sculpt, and I, the easy answer is I love the whole thing. Right. I love no, going I don't want from an easy yeah. Answer. I know I love going from from zero to sixty. You know, <laughs> right. doing the, the whole bit. Right. Um, but I think if I just had to do one part of it, and sometimes I have to right. reserve just one part of something for me because yes. I'm too busy. Yes. I like the sculpting. Yes. Um, 
I'm starting to learn ZBrush, which is digital sculpting, which yeah. is just fantastic yes. and I think vital for any. Tell us about that. ZBrush? Yes. It's a 3D sculpting program, and this is the way things are going now. Yes. Uh, like last year, we did the film Star Trek. That, that's coming out in May. Yes. And um, we had designs that were done in ZBrush, which is a 3D sculpting program, and then they can print it out in three dimensions. So you have a little maquette this big, yes. or whatever size you choose to make it, of yes. what you just sculpted in this program. Yes. And there it is. It's like, make that. Yes. You know, it's not colored yet, but all the structure is there. Yeah. So now turn that into a makeup. How amazing. And what they can even do is they can, they're talking about eventually making like a sculpture in ZBrush. You can, you can separate the piece that you sculpted yes. from a likeness of the actor and print it out. And you've got basically the appliance that you can then put on and mold. That is amazing. It's, it's incredible stuff. But isn't that a bit frightening? I mean, for someone well, who, who, who came up in the ranks with, with UltraCal under your fingernails, yeah. I mean, what, you know, what, what is that? It's very much feel a, about that? It's a learning process. It's a little bit scary to start from zero again. Yeah. And it's a little bit exciting, too. But I'm sure I've heard stories that Jack Pierce um, didn't want to get into foam latex. He hated yeah, foam latex. Right, right. But if West he had Park. evolved into foam latex, then right. he would have been a master at it. He right. would have kept his standing yes. um, throughout the rest of his life as one of the greatest yes. make bars of all time. Yes. Um, so I think maybe you get to an age, you know, when, when you, when you yeah. say, oh, God, I've got to relearn this. Yes. Like, I just got this new iPhone today, and it's yeah. like, what am I going to do with this <laughs> thing? <laughs> So, but you're still a young man. You're very young, and, and even if you were to begin from scratch, I mean, you've got a long time ahead of you. I, I hope so. You know, to, you know, to, you. absolutely. And so, so these these new horizons must just be incredibly exciting. I, I see, and I'm glad to see that because you've got a sparkle in your <laughs> eye when you talk about it. You know, it's, it's great. It's new and evolutionary. Um, uh, stuff that I think you have to evolve into yes. if you're going to survive. Right, right, absolutely. And you know what's exciting to me about it? Not that I, I would, you know, get back into the business in that respect. Um, been there, done that, sort of, sort of speak. Sure. Uh, but what's exciting to me is, is that it's a new avenue for our students, mm -hmm. for us to, to begin teaching yeah. our students. Absolutely. You know, perhaps we should talk about that. Uh, that that's an excellent idea. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Because ZBrush and Photoshop are becoming critical tools. Yeah, absolutely. That's uh, I mean, that's amazing. All right now, uh, uh, when you let's talk about application. Now, okay. Uh, uh, some fellows choose to work with foam latex. I mean, it's you know the standard foam latex. Mm -hmm. Others have gravitated like Matthew Mungel to uh, gelatin. Mm -hmm. uh, Greg Canham, silicone. Mm -hmm. uh, what wh what is your preference as far as medium is concerned? I don't even have an oven here. I don't run foam latex in here. If I ever have to do it, I farm it out to somebody. Yeah. Um, I have come to absolutely love and cherish platinum-based silicone. Yes. And platinum-based silicone is the same kind of silicone they use for implants. Yes. So it's a medical grade. Yes. And it's um, not harming anybody. Yes. They use medical grade adhesives. And uh, you know, I feel good that I'm, I'm applying things to people that aren't Necessarily uh, carcinogens, right? Exactly, and, and not that I. Nor think is the process uh, exactly. carcinogenic process. Exactly, and not that I think that anybody is you know going to get makeup on them one time and get a, a skin cancer from it. It's yes. not going to happen. Yeah. If you were to have it like every single day for six or seven years, right. you're, you're maybe going to endanger your skin. Yes, but uh, makeup still is is very. Um, Makeup artists very yes. concerned with skin care, yeah. and I think we go to great extremes to make sure that people are um, taken care of. Right, that and are safe, not only the, the client, but the people that, I mean, the, our, our, we lab people. Um, I've, known, I've known too many, uh, George Bao included, mm -hmm. you know, who've suffered yeah. because of uh, not, well, not understanding that exposure to these elements could, yeah. be, could be harmful. Uh, That's another thing, Med mixing medical grade silicones. I'm not surrounded by, by toxins yes. when I'm mixing it and casting molds. Exactly. Now, are you, are, are you uh, every time I talk to somebody that works with silicone, you know, they're always very proud of the fact that they've come up with this wonderful encapsulation process that nobody else has, and my edges are the thinnest and the best. <laughs> you know what I mean? I know. You know and, what? I feel I the no, same way. I have no reason, to, you know, to, to not believe what they're saying. But what, um, in your opinion, Without giving out any formulas, what what 
in, in your opinion, makes for the best and the finest, most dissolvable, natural appearing edges in a silicone piece? Well, you know, I'll say one thing. Everybody likes to pretend they have a secret or have the secret. Yes. Everybody knows what everybody else is doing. Yes. There's no secret. Nobody wants to admit it. Nobody wants to admit it. Nobody right. wants to validate or verify someone else's theory. But right. the truth is, um, you know, we're all kind of evolving at the same time. Yeah. Um, I was I was playing around with like scar material and, and, and uh, or gelatin encased in scar material. Yeah. Around the same time, Greg Cannon was starting to develop his silicone prosthetics. Yeah. I think we owe it all to Gordon Smith. Yes. He's the guy who started with the silicone. His name. Twenty years ago, exactly almost. Exactly. Always comes up. But he's not doing makeup any longer. Is Isn't he? he? I don't know. Is he? Is he still doing work? You know, when I talked to him. I interviewed him for a magazine one time for Makeup Artist magazine. Yes. He said. He doesn't even consider himself a makeup artist. Yeah. He's more just a, a design guy and a, yes. and, and a general artist, and he hires people. But um, I don't know. I think he still works. He must have. Yeah, we've got to give the, we'll give Gordon a call. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it would be a That's, shame to see him not working because he's produced such beautiful work yeah, absolutely. over the years. That's historic. It's uh, like Rick Baker took time off. I remember everyone was afraid he wasn't going to do it anymore. Yeah. It would kill me not to see Rick Baker's yeah. work on the screen. Yes. yes. It would just, it, it would be too... Uh, well, he, he, these are geniuses. I is, mean, these are yeah. people that have made such a mark in in, in makeup yeah. artistry that you know you, you it's difficult to even think about uh, you know any film coming out that has any degree of of that kind of incredible work, yeah. not considering the use of the likes of a Rick Baker or, or yeah. Gordon Smith. You know, you know what I'm saying? Me, I'm so, just standing on the shoulders of giants. Right. That's all I'm doing. I, I, I see what they've done. I, I tweak it a little bit yes. to make it my own. Yes. Um, and it, it, a lot of, it, you talked about edges. It, a lot right. of it's just in the molding process, absolutely. getting the mold absolutely right, right. getting the sculpt getting to blend out exactly right. Every right. little stage has its effect. And, and when you're uh, casting the silicone, it's a matter of casting it with just the right amount of, of softness. Yes. Um, all these little right. things come into play. Right. It has to be right all Absolutely. the way along. Absolutely. So I don't think there's any one thing that yeah, makes it. Yeah. But, uh, but I, I mean, I've been fortunate enough to work with the likes of, of my dad, Rick Baker, yes. V. Neal, Greg yeah. Canham, and, yes. and many others, and learned from them. Yes. And um, finally decided, you know what, I, I didn't want to ever open a shop and just create a bunch of stuff, hack them out, uh, right. gore films, and, right. and I wanted to be special. Yeah. So I studied with these other people, yeah. and I waited until I felt really ready yeah. to start taking on shows. Yeah. And once I was, it was about four and a half years ago, um, I said, okay, let's, let's do it. And I, my wife and I opened this shop. Yeah. Um, I had a partner for the first year named Steve Proud. He was a brilliant makeup artist. Yes. And, uh, and he, after the first year, decided he wanted to go back to freelance mm -hmm. and work around. We mm -hmm. parted very amicably. Mm -hmm. um, but since then, since that time, uh, we've done um, you know, Mission Impossible 3, yes. um, the Tom Cruise makeup, uh, which Michelle Burke and I d did yes. in uh, Tropic Thunder. Yeah, she's terrific. She's isn't fantastic. She? And it's another great person, yeah, yeah. artist I've learned from. Absolutely. And then last year, um, just a little before this time, we started the uh, Star Trek movie. Yes. We designed all the aliens for that. So and you've you've kind of taken over uh, that uh, that genre. Uh, I don't know. We'll s just see how it all plays yeah. out. Um, I would I would love would, to keep it, doing Star Trek. Yes. It's just so much fun. So and Mike such Westmore a was not in, involved no, no. in that. Yes. No, this is all the, the whole new yes. perspective on uh, on the. Franchise. Now, I saw uh, very briefly. In, uh, I saw on the cover of some magazine. I'm not sure which it was. Uh, a, a a very young Spock mm -hmm. and Captain Kirk. Uh -huh. Now, is this is is this yeah. the film? Yeah, that this you've is the done? one. Yeah. This we, is very exciting. It's very exciting. It's a whole new. It's starting crew. all over again. Absolutely. Isn't it? Absolutely. Well, there's your retirement right there. <laughs> oh my God! But we'll see how the film does yeah. and see where my career, my what yes. my um, career is like when and if they go into a sequel. See if right. they want me. I think we did a good job. Yes. And uh, I'm excited. I wish I could show you things. I love to from see, it. Yeah. Um, Maybe. But uh, I'm sworn to secrecy yeah, until no, the film comes no, out. And I understand that, and our audience also understands that. But perhaps once the film is released. 
we could come out and, and visit you That'd again. That'd be fantastic. And, uh, and, and we'll do a, a much more in-depth interview yeah. uh, specifically about Okay. All the, the yeah. work that you did on the new I, Star Trek. I think it's worthy. There's a lot, we had some great artists and great hard-working technicians. Yes. And uh, I'm really proud of the work that we accomplished. Oh, excellent. That's, that's really great, Barney. Thank you. Listen, I, uh, I, 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 I know that you're a busy man, and I, and I'm, I really appreciate your allowing us to come in it's here. It's my pleasure, and really. And to talk. Uh, I, I, I want to do this again. Okay. So if you can you know, put up with us coming by one more time. I sure oh, appreciate it. All right. <laughs> and 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 uh, honestly, if uh, if you have the time during, you know, your 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 schedule, uh depending on how the industry, you know, which direction the industry takes mm -hmm. you, um you know, our our school is always open to you. you oh, know? well, thank and, you. And, and, I mean, as to come in as a guest. Oh, you know, I'd like to have that, you that, not not just as a t teach in mm -hmm. the entire program, but also to come in as a guest and to and to show what you've done, you know? that would be great. Because it's uh, it's it's not only is it great to see you, it's just it's, it was great to know that you and your brother were both working for me at the same I know. time. You know, Rob was down in, in Florida and you were up here. Yeah. And uh, it we we're was, emailing each other. Yeah. How's it going? Man? How are your students? <laughs> <laughs> That's great. All right, so. Barney, thank you so much thank for, you, for being such a great guy and for doing such wonderful work. And I really do look forward to seeing well, you. Well, I'm Trek really pictures. quite honored that you came to my studio, oh, it's so no, I really appreciate it's not, it. No, are you kidding? It's my honor. Completely. Yeah, I was just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much, Barney. It's just great being here. Thank and you. And you're a real gentleman. Oh, thank and you. And I know that everybody out there on the web has uh, really enjoyed uh, my visit with you today. Oh. And uh, what we're going to do right now is we are actually going to give you our web address right here. All right. It is the Proteus. It's pro www.proteus, P R O T E U S F X dot com. All right. And that is, again, www.proteusfx.com. And that is this lab that you are about to see that Barney Berman has made very well known. Don't go away. We're going to be right back with a tour of the lab right after this.